Tonight's contest between the Finneytown Wildcats and the Indian Hill Braves. I'm Tony Harris here with Ray Solinsky to bring you all the action uh, tonight in what should be a, uh, a very exciting contest, Ray. Uh, I think it'll be a good game. Both teams have lost a bunch of games by less than one possession or one possession. So I think it'll be a close one. I think the Braves will pull it out. Well, let's hope you're right, Ray. Uh, yeah. I'm... Uh, Going to do bet MGM on uh, on your <laughs> prediction here. So uh, <laughs> they got the line on the Braves game. <laughs> uh, well, we're getting ready here for the uh, uh, the national anthem, and uh, we'll uh, be respectful here, and uh, and, and then go over through starting lineups. We live in the greatest country in the world, with freedoms like no other. To honor America and respect for all who have served our country, to defend the freedoms we enjoy. Please rise with the plane of our. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ray had mentioned that tonight's game, uh, the Braves come in five and six in the league, uh, nine and nine overall. Finneytown at three and eight in the league, seven and ten overall. But uh, both teams have been a little bit snake bit, uh, losing some uh, really uh, very, very close games. Both teams have lost five games in the league by six points or less. And uh, one possession here and uh, one possession there could have made a big, big difference. The Braves uh, lost uh, by six points in overtime to Taylor. And then they have uh, four other losses by five points or less. So they've been right there. And boy, a, a little uh, uh, good fortune. Uh, this could have been a whole different season. Finneytown as well, they've lost five games by six points or less, uh, including one in overtime and including a couple games where they had the lead in the fourth quarter. Well, like I said, Tony, either of these teams could be 8-3 in the league in a heartbeat. Like you said, a rebound, a couple of made free throws, one less turnover. Uh, the Braves are playing great basketball. They're doing the right things. They're playing hard defense. They're pressing. So really, to them, it might just be a break. It might be a free throw. It might be uh, one less turnover, something along those lines that pushes them over the edge. Here come the starters for the Braves. Uh, the Finneytown starters are already out uh, around the center circle. So uh, they may. There's junior C.J. Hayden who leads the Braves in uh, both uh, scoring and rebounding. 
John Pottagel, the uh, the captain of the team, obviously quarterback of the football team, phenomenal athlete. Zach Jones, the brave sharpshooter, three-pointer extraordinaire, and the freshman, William Bennett. This is his fourth consecutive start, and uh, he has earned his uh, minutes. And Alex Grace, another outstanding athlete, uh, uh, two-sport star, both a great football player, first-team All-League, and playing terrific uh, on the basketball court as well. Alex has a big fan club from uh, all over the country watching tonight, and uh, we'll try to get some shout-outs in uh, as the game goes on. Finneytown, uh, the player to watch, uh, Ryan Swegman, number 12. Uh, he's kind of easy to spot here. It's uh, got uh, what is it, orange and black hair, kind of like a, a three-way. Um, but... Uh, and... Uh, uh, Mr. Diop is their center who uh, can get up, and the Braves do control the tip. Hayden now jumps him, and here's John Pottagel setting it up for the Braves. Finneytown isn't man-to-man. -man. Zach Jones in the corner. Back out to Pottagel, and Alex Grace trying to find Hayden, trying to get Hayden the ball. Nice pick for Hayden. Grace into Hayden, and it's off. Grace with a tip. William Bennett. Grace. Alex Grace again. Five for a quarter, Potagel. Johnny. Potagel with a re... Oh, my goodness. Well, Potagel finally sticks it in, but, boy, the Braves lead the league in offensive rebounds right now, at least uh, the last minute. That was uh, tremendous, relentless on that offensive glass for the Braves. I think I counted seven, Tony. Oh, Booker with a foul. Number three, Trevion Booker. Uh, boy, he is a, a load at 5'10", uh, at but uh, uh, boy, he, uh, he's, a, he's a, a, a large young man uh, and uh, he goes uh, crashing in. The Braves are able to draw a foul and, uh, and Booker comes out rather quickly. And Potagel brings it up again. And uh, again, the, the Braves love to try to get the ball into Hayden. High low, there it is, and it's knocked away. That's Adrian Benton, number four. Whoa. Alex Dykes. Uh, Alex Dykes, uh, a uh, sophomore. He comes in and uh, gets a quick uh, three and Finneytown with the lead. Braves cannot get an offensive rebound now. And here comes Swagman. William Bennett, the freshman on him. Curious there, Mark Swagman, here he goes. And it's off. Great rebound there by uh, number 25, Prince Revels. And the Braves have the ball. Zach Jones. Boy, a lot of action already, Ray. You aren't kidding. I think they might have Bennett on Swegman, maybe because of his length. Bennett goes 6'6". Maybe they think his length can slow down Swegman a little bit. Now, Swegman is a, uh, a volume shooter. Uh, averages over 17 shots a game. Zach Jones, there's the pot of gel. Spins, nice pass into Hayden, but he can't quite hang on, and uh, Finneytown will inbound. And the Braves are not gonna press. The Braves have been pressing a good part of the year, uh, but uh, not tonight. Uh, Finneytown with a lot of athleticism, and uh, the Braves respectful of that. Alex Dykes brings it up, and a one. Alex Dykes, just a sophomore. Got uh, Alex Grace picking up his first foul, and uh, he is uh, replacing the lineup there by Nathan Vigran. And uh, boy, the first time uh, Finneytown and Indian Hill played both teams pressed, uh, neither one of them are pressing tonight. Nice. John Potagel starting to feel it. Uh, we saw the last game or two. John starting to take it to the hole and doing the pull-up jumper. And boy, the Braves could use a, the, uh, his defensive contributions are immeasurable, but it'd be great to get some offense from John. Schwegman. Oh. Potagel can get that shot anytime he wants with his athleticism. We see Schwegman with the answer really quickly. Zach Jones. Nathan Vigran 
Wow. Beautiful footwork. I think he's a dancer. <laughs> uh, Nathan Vigran dances his way into another uh, nice uh, shot and layup. Nathan's a, a high percentage shooter. Benton, the freshman, he misses, and a nice pass by Potagel out to Nathan Vigran. And he makes it. Braves tie it at eight. It's a heck of a pace. Well, the Braves go very deep under their bench, Tony, so they can handle this type of pace. And Alex Dykes. There's Benton, the freshman. He's off, and Potagel. Nice pass to Nathan Vigran, and he's fouled. Nathan Vigran fouled by Diop. That's an important uh, foul there. Diop uh, is uh, leading the league in, in block shots, Ray. Is that right? Absolutely. 1.6 blocks per game. And he tried there and uh, committed a foul. That's his first, and he's going to come out of the game. He's the, uh, the big inside presence there, and uh, uh, he takes a seat, as does uh, the freshman uh, Adrian Benton. And uh, Nathan Vigran uh, goes to the line and scores his seventh point in the last, what, minute and a half. Uh, instant offense. He's like uh, Nestle. Booker misses, Pottergell with a rebound. Nice pass. Oh, White Higgins with a miss. And way to eat. CJ Hayden fighting for the rebound and ties up. And it'll be uh, Finneytown ball, but uh, great hustle there by CJ. Yeah, the Braves are really pushing the pace, Tony, and they are getting some easy early offense looks. Again, Ed, he's been in the right place at the right time, but. Uh, Nathan Vigran with seven points, and he didn't even start. C.J. Hayden, and he gets it ripped away from him. The foul, C.J. of White Higgins. Great pass. Vigran gets the ball blocked. Wow. Prince Rebels with a three. Surprising, Tony, and you see a lot of point-blank misses on both ends of the floor, and then ball gets kicked out, and they just drain the three. Well, the uh, timeout here by Finneytown. Here comes uh, Prince Ravels with uh, his uh, taking it back out and tying the game up here at 11. Uh, so we played, what, four and a half minutes. It's 11 all. Uh, Boy, that's a heck of a pace. Uh, you know, we're, 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 it looks like we're going to play in the 80s, and uh, that's not CHL basketball. Uh, that's the old ABA, Tony. <laughs> All we need is a red, white, and blue ball. Um, Finneytown uh, only had uh, one game last week. The Braves had three. Uh, and uh, Finneytown lost to Reading 46-40 to on Friday night. Uh, and uh, Braves played Tuesday night with Wyoming, Friday with Madeira, and then Saturday also with uh, Woodford County, which is uh, down near uh, Lexington, Kentucky. So uh, this is the Braves' fourth game in eight days and, uh, and just Finneytown's second. Colton Smith checks in for the Braves as Potagel brings it up. Shep. But Nathan Vigran wants that ball on the block. He's got he great position. Up oh, and jump ball. Nathan Vigran causes a uh, miss the uh, the uh, inside shot, but uh, does get the Braves the ball back on the tie up. Noah Frazier also in for the Braves. Wyatt Higgins inbounding it. Oh, my. Colton Smith. Once again, Tony, three for a quarter. That's uh, great offensive rebounding by the Braves. Trevion Booker passes it off there to uh, Alex Dykes and uh, Finneytown resets. French Rebels. Colton Smith, a nice rebound. Uh, Wyatt Higgins and boy, nice play by Swagman to bat it away. Braves had an open layup. 
Schwegman. Oh, Colton Smith with a block, and they're going to call foul. But I'll tell you what, Tony, Finneytown is not shy about putting up the three ball. Well, they've coming into this game, they've had 239 three-point attempts in 17 games. They may match that tonight. Yeah, at this pace. Well, Prince Rebels with uh, misses the first. Makes the second. Zach Jones is off. Nathan Vigren, his ninth points of the of the quarter. Nice rebound, good move, reverse layup. Two points for Vigren. Oh, uh, Wyatt loses his man, and uh, uh, Nathan Vigren comes in, commits the foul. And uh, Alex Dykes will be shooting two shots. Well, Tony, the Braves are very athletic. But sometimes when you play a man tightly and he gets by you and has that easy, easy cruise down the lane, you're going to end up with a foul. Dykes, uh, you know, has seven points already uh, tonight. And that's... Uh, Alex Dykes averages three points a game. And he's got seven points in the first quarter. Make it eight. Braves get it up quickly. Jones, Vigran, Jones, Zach, Jones. Yes! The leading three-point shooter for the Braves, Zach Jones. One for two tonight. Good look from the corner. Dykes with a three. Alex Dykes. Alex Dykes with 11 first quarter points. 11 of the 17 points for Finneytown. That might be a career high for him in the first quarter. Yeah. Uh, Alex Dykes has 44 points on the season coming into tonight, and he has 11 in the first quarter. Well, he may get 44 tonight. Zach Jones, Nathan Vigran, it's off. And they're gonna call foul on, is it gonna be on Vigran or uh, C.J. Hayden? On Vigran, that's his second. Nathan Vigran with nine first uh, quarter points will come out and Alex Grace will uh, will replace him here. It looks like Finneytown went with a little 3-2 uh, zone there, Tony. Kind of a different look on defense for them. The freshman. Whoa. Noah Frazier with an NBA range three, and uh, there's Swegman, the leading scorer for Finneytown with a floater, and uh, he's got four points, and uh, the Braves with a quick timeout with 40 seconds left. Yeah, I think Coach Hill is going to want to talk about tightening up the defense and having some more guys rotate over on help. Guys are getting down the lane. They're getting unchallenged to the rim. Well, and the, the offense without Potagel in there is a little stagnant. Um, John certainly uh, challenges people because he can get to the, uh, at least into the paint whenever he wants, and that opens it up. And without John in there, the, the offense rally looked a little flat, and John is checking back in for the last 40 seconds. Well, Johnny P is definitely the motor that runs this team. High energy guy, gets to the rim, makes the pass, averages four assists a game. The guy kind of does it all, both ends of the floor for the Braves as a team captain. So he'll check back in here and see if he can get him going, maybe get this game tied up going into the second quarter. Potagel, Colton Smith, Alex Grace, Zach Jones, and C.J. Hayden in for the Braves. 
Finneytown still in a 3-2. Excuse me, 2-3. And it looks like the Braves may be holding for one. Zach Jones, back to Potagel, and with 15 seconds left. Potagel, he hits the three, boy. Well, nice call putting it. Nice call putting John in there for the, the last shot of the quarter, and uh, John connects. Um, there it is. Be looked beautiful. Great rotation on the ball, and John looked very comfortable. It's, uh, it's been a little rocky for John's outside shot this year. We know he's talented. We know he can hit those shots. They just haven't fallen in games, and maybe this is a sign of things to come. Um, so at the end of the first quarter, Finneytown with a 22-21 to 21 lead, and again, Ray, we're, we're pacing to play in the 80s, and uh, uh, that's, that's, that's kind of unusual. Um, hey, wanted to give a shout-out to uh, Alex Grace. Has a, a lot of uh, uh, viewers watching the game. Uh, uh, his aunt and great-grandma, his aunt Connie and his great-grandma uh, in, uh, in, out in California watching us tonight. Uh, and in Indianapolis is uh, Grandma and Grandpa Lamb and his Uncle Mark. And in Connorsville, uh, his Aunt Autumn. So uh, uh, fans of IHTN and uh, uh, Denny Dupps, who isn't, and, uh, and of course, uh, Alex Grace. And Alex does start the second quarter, along with uh, C.J. Hayden, Colton Smith, John Potagel, and Zach Jones. Again, 11 points from Alex Dykes, a uh, kid who's only scored 44 all year, is 11 just in the first quarter. Swegman. Now Diop's back in the game, number two for Finneytown. And uh, C.J. Hayden on him. There goes Dykes. Swegman. Wegman. Finneytown very patient on that possession, Tony. They got a great look at three. And they're still in the two three. Alex Grace. Uh, he started hitting that three a game or two ago, and uh, let's hope it stays that way. Uh, Swegman. Boy. Swegman with five quick points to start the quarter. Alex, nice pass. CJ couldn't quite hold on, and uh, Finneytown running it down. Here's Dykes. Prince Revels, and it's off. Diop with a rebound. Dykes. Diop. Colton Smith, nice rebound. Oh. Lot of gel. Zach Jones, his second three of the game. Great look from Potagel. He got in trouble, got in the traffic, drew some people, kicked it out to the three-point shooter. Great shot. Swegman, he is feeling it. Eight points here in the first two minutes of the second quarter. And uh, he has 12 now in the game. He's taken over the scoring lead from his teammate Dykes, who has 11. Out of jail, driving, and he is fouled by Benton, the freshman for Finneytown. And uh, it's his first in the uh, third team foul for, uh, for Finneytown here in the uh, first half. Yeah, we're seeing Ryan Swagman here, Tony. He can pretty much get what he wants. He's a very athletic kid. He's starting to make that ball go through the hoop. We get rid of it. Alex Grace, the pot of gel. <laughs> Alex Grace. Beautiful move to the basket. Nice spin to his right, back to his left, laid it in.
Fenton, the freshman, it's off. Colton Smith, and it's off to Alex Grace. And there's a foul on Diop, and that'll be his second. That's important. That's very important. We may not see him the remainder of this half, Tony. I don't think he can pick up his third here in the first half. I almost feel like I'm watching a Mark D'Antoni coach team here. This is crazy. Shots going up in five and six or, seconds. Or Paul Westhead. That's uh, Eli Riggs had checked in for the Braves just before. I forgot to mention. There's Big Eli. Get to kicked away and Finneytown with a break. Benton, the freshman. Potagel makes it makes a miss, and there's Eli Riggs with the rebound, and the Braves go. Down one. Potagel. And he's fouled. And, and one. That was his uh, Linda Ronstadt move. <laughs> Blue by you. Blue by you. He definitely did, boy. He's just so athletic. Let's take a look. Oh, no. This is the uh, Alex Grace. Uh, John uh, with a chance to give the Braves a two point lead. And he does. John Potagel with 10 first half points. Wow. Again, if, if he can get that offense, uh, the mojo going as, diff as good as he is handling the ball and playing defense, wow. Schwegman misses. Potagel with a hand in his face, and here goes John. Alex Grace into Riggs, and Riggs gets fouled. And that'll be on Booker. And that'll be his second. Trevion Booker, the second leading scorer on Finneytown. And uh, he has just picked up his second, and he'll be coming out of the game. Alex Ray's nice pass, C.J. Hayden. Oh, it's off. That was a good inbounds play. They just couldn't connect on the last shot. French Rebels. Alex Grace forcing the miss. Eli Riggs with the rebound. Potagel doesn't see anything and slows it down a little. Zach Jones. Potagel. Oh, somebody move. Eli Riggs. Oh, Eli Riggs. Banks it in. Kind of an old school move there, Tony. Off the glass. Eli Riggs. Oh, my. Alex Grace gets up, gets knocked over, and the uh, ball goes out of bounds, and they're calling it off of Alex. Definitely a push in the back there, Tony. You don't yeah, fly out of bounds for no reason. I, uh, let's go to our interpreter, Gene. No, I don't see him here. Right. Schwegman. Potagel with a hand in his face. Zach Jones with a rebound. Here comes Potagel. Great pass to William Bennett. Oh, it's blocked. C.J. Hayden. And two. And a timeout for Finneytown. That's the, their second timeout that they've used here in the first half. The Braves go up six. And, uh, boy, Brian, this is a breakneck play. I mean, we're used to CHL games that are, uh, you know, sometimes in the high 30s or 40s, and uh, it's 36-30. We still have three and change here in the first half. That's Swegman with, uh, with a deuce there. And uh, Swegman, uh, the leading scorer for Finneytown, has uh, 12 points here uh, in the first half. Uh, uh, again, uh, uh, unfortunately for the Braves, uh, Nathan Vigran uh, has two fouls and uh, is sitting out. But Nathan hit double digits rather quickly this half. And, uh, and John Potagio with 10 points. Uh, John had 13 against Madeira Friday night. And uh, that was his high output, I, I believe, of his career. Um, and uh, he's got, you know, 10 right now. But again, John is so incredibly valuable to the Braves. 
um, you know, even with eight points because of his defense and his uh, ball handling skills and his tenacity, he's he's a, a great asset. But boy, what a bonus if uh, he can score double figures for you on a consistent basis. Braves are going kind of big here, Tony. You got three bigs on the floor with the two guards. Well, Diop, number two, uh, is in the game. And remember, he's got uh, two. He's got two fouls, and uh, be great for the Braves to be able to pick up a third on him. Oh, wide open, Benton. And it falls out. And it's volleyball, and it's off the Braves. Uh, Eli Riggs and C.J. Hayden uh, battling Diop for the uh, the ball, and uh, it gets kicked off of, uh, I believe, C.J.'s hands, and uh, Finneytown will be inbounding. It's Adrian Benton, freshman. Swegman. Beautiful move. Wow. Wow, up and under. Bennett is so much longer. Got underneath him. Flipped it off the backboard. Great move. Oh, my gosh. CJ gets knocked down by Diop, and that'll be his third. And... I think you've mentioned, Ray, that uh, Diop is, uh, leads the league in block shots. He's the leading rebounder on Finneytown, and with him saddled with three fouls here in the first half, uh, maybe that's uh, something uh, on the plus side here for the Braves. Very surprised he checked back in, Tony, with two fouls. CJ misses a shot, and he's going to be called for a foul. Uh, Benton falls down, and CJ is going to be uh, saddled with a, a foul here, just his first. And he'll be coming out, and Vigran will be... Uh... Oh, Nathan's coming in for uh, Eli Riggs, who did a terrific job. Well, that's a big for a big. They still yeah. well, three he... bigs on the floor. Yeah. And, uh, and coaches handle that most of the year. Uh, you've got several, I mean, bigs that really do a nice job for you, and why not play them? Alex Grace, I consider a big, although he's very versatile. Swegman misses. C.J. Hayden with the rebound. Vigran wanted the ball badly. Vigran with a tip. Zach Jones with the miss on the drive, and Nathan Vigran back to pick something up. C.J. Hayden. Nathan Vigran. Wow. He's got 13 points, and I don't think he's played more than five or six minutes so far this half. Uh, uh, he got the two quick fouls, and he went out. Now he comes in and gets uh, nine quick points. Nathan Vigran with a rebound. Oh, my. Gets it stolen by Swegman. Wow. Well, Vigran's running the floor very well, Tony. Getting out in the fast break, making himself available under the rim. Getting some nice buckets for the Braves. Nathan Vigran with his 15th point of the half. Wow. Once again, getting to the bucket, got to his right hand off the glass. And he's got 15 points on, what, maybe seven shots, eight shots? I very, mean, uh, very efficient. Here goes Swagman going up. Gets his own rebound, but William Bennett. Zach Jones misses. And it'll be Finneytown ball, 45 seconds left. And uh, Ben Vigran getting ready to check in for the Braves, a senior. Uh, his first action replacing his cousin, Nathan Vigran. They don't want a Nathan to pick up his third foul here in the first half. And uh, Colton Smith and C.J. Hayden will take a blow. Well, Tony, if you can get him rest now, then plus they'll have the halftime. So he'll come out fresh for the third quarter. Good move by Coach Hill. And we'll see if Finneytown uh, will go for one or if they're capable of holding the ball that long. They, these guys are uh, ready to fire. Swagman. We got Ben Vigran on Swagman. And it looks like they are going to try to hold it. Braves do have a foul to give for what it's worth. Uh, Braves have only committed five team fouls so far this half. If it gets under 10, uh, you know, you can commit a foul here. The only guy on the floor that's committed a foul so far is Colton Smith, number 15. 
Fallon. Go, John Fallon. No. Swigman misses. And a three-point shot is off. And the Braves, after an exhausting first half, take an eight-point lead into the locker room. Uh, Braves up 42 to 34. Tony, they ran them off the floor, which you would not think would happen with the Braves Finneytown. You think Finneytown would be up and down, but it was the Braves getting out on the break, getting the offensive rebounds, moving the ball up the floor, getting those easy transition buckets. Vigran, 15 first half points. What a contributor. Yeah, they've, they've gotten a lot of nice contribution. Uh, Vigran with 15, John Potagel with 10, uh, Zach Jones with two threes with six. Um, the Braves are spreading the wealth and uh, getting a lot of nice, 42 points. I mean, that's, you know, the Braves don't average a whole lot more than that. Uh, well, they average 57, but that's uh, the, uh, uh, for uh, Finneytown, Swegman uh, has 16 points at halftime. Uh, he is not shy about taking a shot. I will say that about him. Very well, he, talented, but he's not shy. He, he averages uh, more shots per game than anybody in the league. And uh, boy, the way he's hitting tonight. And then the, the one who really got them off to a good start, Alex Dykes. Um, uh, he's got 11 points. And again, we've mentioned before, he, he's only scored 44 points the entire year. He's got 11 here in the first half. Well, with Diop having uh, three fouls, it's going to put a crimp on Finneytown. You know, he's a rebounder, he's a shot blocker, a rim protector, and without him in the game, I think Finneytown's going to struggle a little more. We'll see if he starts out the second half, or if Coach Sitson kind of tries to preserve him for the fourth quarter. Well, we need a little bit of rest here. Uh, uh, this back and forth action has been uh, terrific. Braves up 42-34 at half. We'll be back in about eight minutes for uh, uh, an exciting second half as well. Uh, please come back and join us then. Choose the Weiler way today. Tired of the traditional online car shopping experience? When you visit our Weiler websites and have a question, we have dealership professionals who will chat with you live. Rooted in family, driven by you. All right, team. We got a long day ahead of us, but this is what we do. It's time to go to work. Yeah, let's get it. We work, we work, work. we get stuff done. That's right. No matter what the problem, we just roll up our sleeves. We do. Not afraid of the project, oh, no. not afraid of the time. Okay. Say it, I build America, we always on time. Let's get it. We work, we work, we work, we, work. we get stuff done. We do. No matter what the problem, yeah. we just roll up our sleeves. That's right. Not afraid of the project, oh, no. not afraid of the time. We got Say it. it, I build America, we always on time. Let's do Listen, it. Do you know the mission? Huh? story who you've been at it for a minute yeah. so we're not here for the glory oh, no. we aggregate crush rock 24 7 non-stop hot products high in calcium low in that magnesium won't we'll mix it up then bag it, bag it. y'all know what i'm saying yeah Looking for a new home? You'll love SibsyKlein.com. For the latest new listings, price changes, and open houses, make it part of your everyday routine. When a new listing is posted, I want to be among the first to find it. My secret weapon? SibsyKlein.com. I start each day with a cup of coffee, the latest new listings, price changes, and all the home buying tools I need. That's just the beginning of what you'll find at SibsyKlein. Choose the Weiler way today. We value your time and convenience. Visit Weiler.com and shop over 7,000 cars. See estimated monthly payments. Value your trade and get pre-approved. Rooted in family. Driven by you. Dude, zoom into the guy shooting, please. All right. All right, I'm going to switch the camera, too. All right, camera two, you're live. Camera one, can you zoom back out to include the shot, please? Thank you. All right. All right, and then I need you to get the graphics up, please, for uh, the free throw. I think it's, what is it, number 12? All right, graphics are going in. All right. All right, switching to one. Good shot there, one. We're going to go back to two. I'm going to take the graphics up. Can we get the uh, score bug back on, please? All right, bring those back in. All right, one back up. All right, two, I need you to be close on this one. All right, follow, I need you to follow the uh, point guard as he brings up the ball. All right? 
All right, going back to two. One, I want you now to go down to the other end of the court. Just don't let you have a wide shot. We're going to switch to one, two, to the middle of the court. All right, switching to one. All right, good shot there, two. Now two, just stay close, all right? We want you to be close. We want you just to be like a close camera, all right? All right, good shot there, one. That's, that's good. Oh, we can also, camera two. I want you to try to keep the ball in the frame as much as you can. All right, that's not a bad shot. All right, two. I want you to zoom in on the guy throwing the ball in, please. All right, not, not, not too much. Zoom a little bit back out, all right? Perfect. Announcers, I have a replay that is one. All right, we're gonna roll a replay. Let's get DDR1 up there, all right?
Say when. Well, welcome back to uh, Indian Hill Gymnasium, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, tonight's contest between the Finneytown Wildcats and the Indian Hill Braves. Braves up uh, 42 to uh, 34 here at halftime. And uh, boy, uh, breakneck pace, uh, Ray. Uh, tough to keep up with everything. Uh, one of the things that really benefited the Braves is Finneytown committed uh, some critical fouls. Uh, two of their starters have two fouls and have had to sit out an appreciable amount of time. Uh, Trevion Booker, the second leading scorer, has been shut out with two fouls. And uh, Diop, uh, the, uh, their leading rebounder and, and the top shot blocker in the league, uh, also has been saddled with two fouls. Actually, three. He has three fouls now, Tony. Yeah, if you told me this was an indoor track meet, I'd say okay. Well, the, uh, uh, the Braves uh, have, uh, I believe Alex Grace has, uh, has two fouls. And uh, I, I believe he's the only Brave that's, uh, that's in foul trouble. And uh, Nathan Viger? No, Nathan Viger does, two not as Alex. Well. I'm sorry. I don't believe Alex Grace does. I, uh, I shouldn't have accused him of that. He, <laughs> he's a nice boy from a nice family. He doesn't commit a lot of fouls. Uh, and Alex will be inbounding it to John Pottajel to start the second half, along with uh, William Bennett, Zach Jones, and C.J. Hayden for the Braves as they try to extend this eight-point lead. Zach Jones into Alex Grace. Nice soft touch, and it's in. Benny Town in that 2-3 zone. Alex That's Grace. a soft spot, and Alex Grace takes advantage of it. Well, the Braves up 10 points. That's the largest lead of the night, and uh, let's hope that's not the case for long. William Bennett. And he commits, uh, he and C.J. Hayden collaborate and uh, the foul is going to go on William Bennett. And uh, that's his first. And uh, this is uh, Trevion Booker uh, trying to uh, dent the scoreboard tonight. He, uh, that's his first point. Again, second leading scorer at 11.7 points a game for Finneytown. And that's his first point of the night. Second shot is off, and then John Potagel with the rebound. Spins it back to Bennett, and there's uh, Potagel off to Alex Grace. Beautiful, Alex Grace, four quick points to start the half. Alex Grace. What a tremendous athlete, Tony. Two dribbles, got to his left hand, laid it in. Gorgeous basketball. Swegman is going up. C.J. Hayden. Fighting for it, everybody's fighting for it. Uh, William Bennett, Alex Grace. Oh, and for, a fortuitous bounce for the Braves as Booker misses a layup. Going to the right side with his left hand. John Pottergel gives it up and they're gonna call a charge. Uh, John uh, uh, bumps there into uh, Diop and uh, they're gonna give John a foul and that's his, uh, his first. Well, if you're Finneytown, you're holding your breath on that play, Tony, because if Diop picks up his fourth, they're in a lot of trouble. Well, they're taking Swegman out. Um, pretty quick hook. Alex Grace on it. William Bennett, uh, you got to play tighter on that. C.J. Hayden with a great block. Alex Grace with the ball. Potagel slows it down, but for a second, he gets it swatted away. Uh, Benton with a, uh, a miss, and uh, the Braves will uh, will keep possession here, up 11. Yeah, somebody has to tell Johnny P when he has the ball. He's getting attacked from behind. A teammate has to let him know. He can't see that coming. And the Braves spreading it out. Hayden all the way underneath the basket. Zach Jones. William Bennett with a hand in his, oh, C.J. Hayden with the rebound, and it's blocked by Diop, and is that his fourth foul? No, they're not calling it on Diop. They're calling it on Prince Revels, and that's just his first. Hayden converts. That's uh, just CJ's third point of the game. 
been very active on the boards, keeping a lot of balls alive, getting a lot of rebounds, but uh, has not had a lot of chances to score. Great block on the last play for, for CJ against Finneytown down on the block. And CJ with his fourth point of the game. Alex Dykes bringing the ball up, Finneytown. And Swegman is back in the game, number 12 there for Finneytown. Zach Jones, nice defense. Dykes. Alex Dykes. Boy, he's found a hot hand here tonight, wow. Tony. Boy. <laughs> William Bennett, Potagel, Zach Jones. And Finneytown staying in their zone. Zach Jones and his three. Oh, they're only going to give him two. Well, well, I think we need to go to the replay on that, Tony. It looked like I, I, a clear three-point shot. Yeah. I think we got to uh, we got to ask for Gene. That's his interpretation. But uh... oh, there's a charge. Beautiful. Booker commits. Uh, is that his third? And. Uh, Getting up a little gingerly, uh, William Bennett did a nice job there, staying as strong and taking a foul. And Trevion Booker, the second leading scorer and second leading rebounder on Finneytown, has just committed his third foul of the game. Oh, that's a gussy play by Zach Jones there. That's a big man coming at you, Tony. Now again, with Finneytown in, uh, there's the alley-oop. Oh! Rebels off balance. C.J. Hayden with the rebound and off the pot of gel, and he throws a dart. Wyatt Higgins and banks it in. Nice patient move. Let That's the defense the fly by. Use the glass. Braves go up 15. C.J. Hayden. There's a quarterback firing a pass to Alex Grace. Oh, and they're going to call charge. Oh, wait a minute. The ref closest to the bench, I think, was going to call it the other way and uh, allowed the ref under the basket to overrule him. But uh, Alex, with an aggressive move, uh, commits his second foul. Staying in there, uh, John Potagel takes a, a quick break, and uh, Noah Frazier comes in to uh, play point guard. That's two charges that Diop has drawn now in the last couple minutes, Tony, and that is very gutsy when you have three fouls. Well, I think they're trying to challenge uh, Diop and try to pick up his fourth, and they're going inside. Swegman throws to Diop, but Zach Jones jumps up and steals the ball, and uh, Noah Frazier. Wyatt Higgins back to Frazier. Zach Jones. Oh, my. Well, Zach didn't really quite set himself there and uh, unfortunately didn't uh, didn't collect. And uh, now for the first time in the third quarter, the leading scorer for the Braves uh, tonight, Nathan Vigran comes in. And the Braves playing small for them. Uh, Hayden and Vigran, the two big guys, and then you've got three guards, uh, and Wyatt Higgins, Noah Frazier, and Zach Jones. So this is a smaller lineup for the Braves. Dykes. Air ball. Noah Vigran with the ball and uh, Noah Frazier. No, I. Ooh. There he is. Zach Jones. Oh. Noah Frazier. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Vigran, Nathan Vigran, 17 points for Nathan. Great weak side rebound. Off the Braves and Finneytown all inbound. And uh, Zach Jones coming out, Ben Vigran coming in. So we've, uh, we've got the, uh, the Vigran sandwich going on here. Uh, ben and Nathan both in the game at the same time. And a loose ball, Noah Frazier. And down goes Frazier. 
but no foul. He had Hayden wide open. Yeah. Probably should have dished that one. Oh, Swegman! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Swegman looked out of control and uh, steamrolled Noah Frazier. And, uh, boy, Noah's uh, been on the ground on both sides of the court now in the last 10 seconds. Uh, it's like a human mop. C.J. Hayden going out and uh, Eli Riggs checking in for the Braves. Braves up 17. Eli Riggs guarding Diop. It looks like they're trying to get it into Diop. Wow. Swegman with a great move and uh, blows by uh, three Braves and is able to lay it up. Swegman with 18 points. The average is 17-5. Help. And they called timeout. Ricardo Hill called a timeout. And uh, okay. we're going to see a replay here on the uh, Wyatt Higgins waiting for everybody to go by and then banking it off the, uh, the backboard. And uh, Braves again up 15 with 2.08 here to go here in the third quarter. Uh, Nathan Vigran with two fouls. Uh, nobody else in any, uh, you know, serious trouble. And two fouls with 2.08 to go in the third quarter uh, isn't as concerning as uh, Finneytown, who's uh, juggling a couple guys here with three. Well, Tony, the Braves have definitely not taken their foot off the gas. They've come out here in the third quarter. They are playing hard on both ends of the floor. They're getting some nice buckets. I look forward to keep competing. Coach Hill has got them playing at a high level. Wyatt Higgins with a beautiful pass. Ben Vigren, it's off. The nice play coming out of the, uh, the timeout. Oh, and Nathan Vigren picks up his third. Dykes with a little double clutch there, got into his body. Yeah, I think that was Ridgeway. Nathan Vigren would be his third. And uh, yeah, Nathan Vigren with three and uh, is Coach Hill going to replace him, or is he going to let him uh, get it here? You, Nathan certainly having, uh, when we have the ball on offense, it's great to have Nathan underneath. Jace Ridgeway misses the first. Another freshman playing here. Uh, Finneytown has uh, uh, two freshmen that get appreciable time. The Braves with one being William Bennett. Ben Vigran, oh, Ridgeway, nice pass. Off by Swagman, there goes Ben Vigran and he loses it. Oh my. Wow. Are well, they gonna call a foul? Is that on Nathan Vigran? And it is, it's Nathan's fourth. And uh, that's that's not great news. Now Ricardo will make a move and uh, CJ Hayden will be replacing Nathan Viger. And again, Nathan the leading scorer for the Braves tonight with 17, a uh, career high. And uh, unfortunately he's gonna have to take a seat on the bench here for, uh, for a few minutes. CJ Hayden, Eli Riggs, are the bigs for the Braves right now. Ben Vigran, Noah Frazier, and Johnny Potagel back in for the Braves uh, here with a minute 20 uh, left here in the, four, in the third quarter. CJ, Ben Vigran, and they're gonna slow it down. Up 13, and it's a man-to-man -man for Finneytown. This is uh, one of the few times tonight we've seen that. Oh, oh. They're going to call pushing off on CJ. I've seen that a lot this season, Tony. Guys have the inside position. They have a guy boxed out, and they're still getting called for the foul. 
Yeah. Not really a fan of that call. I think when you have possession and you're boxing out, Gene, you should be in good shape. Bottigel picks up the loose change. And uh, I'd like to say the Braves are going to hold for one, but I don't know if they're capable right now. All right, number four, Benton. Oh, no, they're calling a foul on Eli Riggs, a moving pick. Wow. That's the Braves' eighth foul of the quarter. Eighth foul of the quarter, and Finneytown only has two. Um, most of those fouls have been of the offensive variety. And, uh, boy. Adrian Benton is uh, shooting free throws here for Finneytown. Makes the first. Benton came into the game seven for eight on the year. He's only taken eight free throws the entire year. That now makes him eight for nine. That's outstanding as a freshman, Tony. Makes the second in the Braves with a couple subs. Alex Colton Grace Smith and Alex Grace coming in for Eli Riggs and Ben Vigran. Braves lead down to 11. It was up to 17. Potagel in the corner. Nice job, John. The coach Hill calling out a play. It may be for one shot. Benton guarding Potagel. Alex Grace, Potagel, down to 14. Now we're down to eight, and there's a foul on Swegman. How can they call timeout if we have the ball? I believe they called a foul on Potagil for pushing off. Wow. Alex Grace. Well, that, that's the only logical explanation, Ray. Uh, uh, I sure didn't see it, and uh, neither did the uh, the guys at the scorers table. Uh, and uh, so, Coach Hill giving uh, John Potajo a little lecture here about what he maybe had done wrong. But uh, boy, uh, that could have been a, a, a really uh, disaster if Finney County could have scored there and gotten some momentum going into the fourth quarter. But Braves up 11 as we get ready for the last eight minutes of the game. Braves again with eight team fouls already this half, and uh, Finneytown with just two. And uh, uh, Finneytown had a little bit of foul trouble the first half, but when you only commit two in the third quarter, uh, that uh, gives you a little bit of breathing room. Diop, the big guy with uh, three fouls, uh, he went into the, in the second quarter, he committed his third, went through the whole uh, third quarter without committing a foul. It'd be nice to get him out of there. He also and drew two offensive fouls. Yes. He took two charges in that quarter, which is, like I said, that's kind of gutsy when you have three fouls. Yep. I will say this, a far side of the court with Johnny Potagil, we really couldn't see what he did, but he didn't argue and neither did Coach Hill. So apparently they both know, maybe he had a little push off. Uh, the fourth quarter starters, Alex Grace, Colton Smith, C.J. Hayden, John Potagel, and uh, Noah Frazier. Alex Dykes with the ball back in there for Finneytown. <laughs> Expecting Swegman to uh, do a backdoor cut, and uh, he did not. And uh, Braves will get the ball and a quick change. Uh, offense for defense already. Zach Jones coming in there for uh, Noah Frazier. And Zach Jones bringing the ball up. Alex Grace. Oh, thought he had a lane. Potagel, and he's fouled. That's on number four, Benton, and that's his second. Benton, foul number four. Benton, foul. 
Third team foul. And the Braves will inbound it under the basket. And do they have a play? Zach Jones with the ball. Potagel. No more zone for Finneytown. Zach Jones to Potagel. Oh, and he is fouled. And that's Diop, and I believe that's his fourth. Yes, it is. So, uh... When you're a shot blocker, Tony, it's really hard to resist when you got a little guard coming at you. Uh, Johnny did a great job of getting into Diop's body and drawing the contact. Well, Diop's staying in here with four fouls, and... Uh, but for Finneytown, it's, I mean, they, they got to make a, a run here. They can't afford to take the big guy out. Potagel hits them both. 12 solid points for him tonight, Tony. Swegman. It was Dykes, and uh, he misses. C.J. Hayden with the rebound, and Potagel gets the Braves to uh, reset again. Zach Jones. Oh, there's a foul on Revels, number 25. That'll be his second and uh, more importantly, the fifth team foul for Finneytown. So we're getting closer and closer to the bonus. That'll be important for them heading down the stretch here, Tony. They're, if they have to put the Braves on the line, they're going to have to get over the limit. You don't want to see cheap fouls, but if they're going to play the game later, they're going to have to try to get the ball back. Beautiful move by C.J. Hayden on the block. C.J. with his six points of the game, up to six. Ooh. Booker with a miss. Booker's been out of the game for a while with his third foul, and uh, boy, he is a load, 5'10". Looks like he goes about uh, 220 and uh, strong, quick. Hard. He's guarding Hayden right now. Great save there by Colton Smith. And Zach Jones dives on the floor and calls for a timeout and uh, saves the possession for the Braves. Nice job, Zach. Great job, Colton Smith, too. So the Braves up 15 now with uh, 606 left. And, uh, well, let's take a look and, uh, and see the, uh, the the play here before where uh, Swegman goes through. That was a little bit earlier. Yeah, nice job by uh, Swegman going through the traffic and laying it in. Swegman with 18 points uh, for Finneytown. Uh, Dykes has 14 for Finneytown. And the Braves have a host of guys that have contributed. Uh, Nathan Vigran uh, has 18. Johnny Potagio with 12. 10 for Zach Jones, 10 for Alex Grace, 6 for C.J. Hayden. Getting uh, scoring from a, a lot of different quarters here, and uh, uh, hopefully that keeps up. Uh, 59 points here with six minutes left. That's a, that's a big night in high school basketball, especially a, these parts. It's a great night, and Tony, if you can spread that ball around like that and everybody's a threat, your offense runs so much better. Nobody's keying on anybody. Any town right now seems to be a one-man show with Swagman. Much easier to key on him, although he, he got the great basket on the baseline there earlier. Now let's see what they got left. Again, uh, in the game, number two for Spinneytown, Diop has four fouls, and uh, number three, Booker, has uh, three fouls. So it'd be great to get another one on one of those guys. And one. C.J. Hayden with an alley-oop, great pass by Potagel. The quarterback does it in basketball as well, and uh, C.J. Hayden with his seventh and eighth points, and uh, hopefully here a ninth. And that was Diop, uh, and uh, he will be asked to leave the game. Uh, he's the uh, he's part of the. Uh, Nancy Reagan fan club, uh, just say no. He, he leads the league in block shots, and uh, he will get a copy of the home game. 
C.J. Hayden converts a traditional three-point play and up to nine points, and uh, the Braves extend the lead to 18. Nice, great pass there by uh, Dykes to uh, Swagman, and uh, Swagman uh, converts. Swagman, 20 points. And has not committed a foul, or at least not one that they've called. William Bennett, Potagel. C.J. Hayden way out, way beyond the three-point line, and uh, Graves trying to take some air out of the ball. Alex Grace, nice pass to Hayden. And Alex Hayden, Alex Grace to C.J. Hayden, and now uh, C.J. joins the uh, double-digit club with 11. That was a very well-run play, Tony. Swegman, wow. Beats Alex Grace at a ball and uh, beats a couple Braves to the uh, rim and gets a uh, hoop. So a lot of time left here. Potagel. Alex Grace, nice pass to Hayden and one. Great pass by Alex Grace, a high low to, down to C.J. Hayden. And uh, boy, C.J. had seven points about a minute and a half ago. He's, he's now up to uh, 13 and hopefully a 14th. Well, with Diop out of the game, there aren't many guys on Finneytown that can match him athletically or size-wise down low. The Braves are just feeding him in great positions and he's getting off really nice shots around the rim. Well, both, both Dykes and Swegman both went to the bench and uh, those are their two leading scorers tonight. And uh, with 4.36 left, that's uh, kind of a strange strategy. Trevion Booker drives. C.J. Hayden just grabs it. Somebody was out. They're going to give it to the Braves. Riggs coming in and uh, C.J. Hayden uh, taking a little rest. C.J. with 12 points. Uh, boy, a barrel of rebounds and uh, keeping a lot of balls alive tonight. And a full court press employed now by uh, Finneytown and Alex Grace tries to throw it and uh, Benton knocking it out of bounds and it'll be inbounded in front of the Finneytown bench. Alex Grace, William Bennett, Eli Riggs, Zach Jones and John Potagel, the five on the court right now for the Braves. Potagel being hounded by uh, Ridgeway, uh, playing defense here on the point guard. Alex Grace, John Potagel waits for Riggs, and back out to John. A lot of bodies hitting the floor. Eli Riggs. William Bennett goes up and uh, tries to corral that rebound. Nice job by the freshman. Benton with a miss. Zach Jones, Eli Riggs, and the Braves will reset. Down 3.30 left now. Zach Jones bringing it up. Braves are definitely trying to chew up this clock, Tony. Zach Jones, no hurry. William Bennett, oh. Nice move, William Bennett. That's a great move, Tony. He's a yes. big man, he's a freshman, yet he's putting the ball on the floor and getting to the rim. I think he has a bright future down here in Braves country. Well, there's seen several good freshmen at Wyoming. Uh, the, uh, the Benton number four is a nice freshman, but uh, boy, you watch William Bennett and his improvement from game one uh, to this. It's uh, he, He's been terrific. And uh, he's got a nice soft touch from the outside and uh, hopefully he's going to put a little bit more weight on his frame and uh, hopefully he's going to be a force to be reckoned with the next three years here in the CHL. 
Wow, nice move. Can't finish Alex Grace with a rebound. Out of jail, you only have a few seconds to get it up. He does. Eli Riggs, and he's tackled. Prince Rebels with his third foul. And that'll be the ninth team foul in Finneytown. This will be our last one and one uh, that the Braves will have. Everyone, every subsequent foul will be a at least a two-shot foul. Although I don't see the Braves taking too many threes from here on out. Frazier re-enters the game for Johnny Pottajil. Give him a little rest. A shot, Eli Riggs. Yeah, Finneytown went from two fouls to nine fouls in a hurry here, Tony. Yeah. Well, they've, they've got a scrap. They're not in the zone anymore. They're, they're in a man-to-man, -man and, you know, they've taken Swegman out. They've taken Booker out, and uh, I... Uh, Looks like they've kind of waved the flag. Nice. An old school Time move out. there, Tony. Yeah. Get Prince, to the mid-range. That's Prince Revels. That's a, he's a junior. He'll be back next year. And uh, But uh, really sweet move. Nice looking shot. Here comes a replay with that alley-oop to CJ. And one. That uh, CJ converted the... Uh, the free throw, and that knocked uh, uh, the big man Diop out for uh, Finneytown. So uh, uh, great play uh, there uh, designed by uh, Coach Hill and executed perfectly by uh, Mr. Potagel and, uh, and Hayden. Now I got to say, uh, Indian Hill, one of the better teams uh, bringing the ball out of bounds under the basket. They run some nice action, and they usually get a nice shot. Well... I guess the Braves must have called a full timeout because uh, Coach Hill has everybody on the bench sitting down, and uh, the Finneytown guys uh, must have a lot of energy because they're all standing up on the court. Um, again, Swegman's out. I, I 22 points. So it doesn't look like he's coming back. Uh, Booker had 14, and, uh, and he's not playing anymore either. So... Uh, It's a curious strategy by Coach Reggie uh, Hall of Finneytown. Going to try to give some of his uh, guys who don't get quite as much action uh, some time. William Bennett. Ben Vigran. Noah Frazier. And he gets fouled. And that's on uh, Trevion Booker. It'll be his fourth foul. Well, as you mentioned, Tony, at this point, Finneytown just has to scrap. They have to go for it. They have to go for steals. Uh, you know, down 21, two minutes to go. Uh, you got to hand it to them. They're still, they're still trying to compete. Well, I'll, I'll say this. It was uh, an incredibly entertaining first half. Uh, the Braves started to pull away the last minute or two of the first half. Noah Frazier nails the first. Um, but uh, I don't know if I've seen any first halves this year. We had uh, 76 points scored, 42 to 34. Very competitive. Uh, you know, the Braves do rotate 10 guys. And uh, hey, fans, do us a favor, that kind of takes its toll in the third quarter, especially when everything is up and down like this. Yeah, the Wildcats definitely didn't go as deep. Maybe lost a little bit of their legs in the second half. Ridgeway, he's blocked. Nice shot, Eli Riggs and Wood. Oh, Ben Vigran. <laughs> ben Vigran with a soft slam. <laughs> wow, nice, uh, nice move there by Trevion Booker. But uh, let's see the. Uh, uh, we didn't quite get the kick out there from Ben Vigran uh, getting a, an uncontested layup, which is uh, unusual for Ben. To get to get that opportunity on the, the lead to break, so and uh, Nathan Vigran's coming back in, so uh, Vigran squared is in there for the uh, for the Braves and uh, and Nathan with 17 points, they're giving him a chance to get a few more here. 
Booker. Scores his fourth point of the game, and now he gets a, uh, a copy of the home game. And uh, Cam Miller checking in for the Braves. Cam Miller, the 5'5 sophomore. One of the hardest working kids, and there's Ben Vigran again. Oh, my. I really thought he might get another soft slam, but uh, no such luck. And, uh, wow, the Braves are, uh, are starting to clear the bench now. And, um, Vigran picked up his fifth. Well, 17 points. That's uh, it's quite a night for the senior. And uh, Jim Liebel uh, checking in for uh, the Braves, a freshman. Really good-looking kid. We've seen him on the uh, JV team, and he's 6'4". Uh, he's strong. Supposed to be a heck of a baseball player, too. And uh, his older brother is a fine baseball player, and uh, you get to see him this uh, spring. Braves up 21 now and uh, have uh, two freshmen and a sophomore on the court. William Bennett. Woo! Oh, my goodness. He wanted the foul, too, and uh, well, we've got an injured Finneytown Wildcat. Uh, Moreno Bird has uh, got a finger in his eye, it looks like, and... Uh, That was, that was Bennett taking that down the lane again, Yes, Tony. it was, yep. Ash and Graham, uh, another freshman coming in for the Braves. So the Braves playing. Look, Cam Miller on the floor for the Braves. Ash and Graham, you got two freshmen and a sophomore, and Ben Vigran, the old man, is the only senior. Vigran brings it back out. Liebel, Graham, Cam Miller, and we're under a minute. Well, he had an easy bucket there, Tony, but he kicked it back out. He wants some of these underclassmen to get a chance, oh. which is a great mark for a senior. And uh, Liebel's going to get a shot to uh, score his first varsity points. Liebel misses his first. Dan DeBow comes in for the Braves. Sophomore. And Liebel makes his point. You always remember yeah. your first varsity point, Tony. Cam Miller, great defense. Now oh, they're going to call foul on Cam. Number 34, one of the hardest working kids in the program. A little undersized there. 5'5 five, five and uh, maybe 100 pounds. But uh, uh, really leads that JV. Uh, a really good uh, playmaker and uh, leader on the JV team and uh, being rewarded with some opportunity here on the varsity tonight. First shot is missed. It's uh, Roper uh, for, uh, for Finneytown missing the first shot. Colton Smith coming in and Ben Vigran sitting down. And Roper makes a second. Graves up 23. We haven't had a chance to say that a whole lot this year. And hard work starting to pay off. Hopefully will the next several games. Cam Miller. And it's in. And Cam Miller nails a three. Nice pass there by Ashgrove. They've done that a bunch in JV this year. Nice rebound there by Colton Smith. And 
The Braves will just dribble it out. 81 points tonight, Tony. You called it. You said it was going to be in the 80s. Well, I'm just glad the other team wasn't in the 80s as well. And the seconds tick off, and uh, we're going to see uh, maybe Cam Miller's uh, three-point shot there, the last great pass by Ashcraft. Cam Miller swish, and that's... Uh, so the Braves uh, emerge victorious uh, tonight, 81 to 55 over Finneytown, and uh, a much-needed victory. The Braves had lost six in a row, and uh, we had mentioned earlier in the game some really, really close games and uh, haven't gone their way. A lot of good things did happen for the Braves tonight. Great effort from everybody that did play, and uh, a lot of nice offensive contributions. Uh, so the Braves go 6-6 in the league now, and. Uh, uh, go to Deer Park and uh, and then come home with Redding and those are the uh, the final two games in, in league play this year. Uh, there's a game also with Roger Bacon, but something's not kosher about them. <laughs> um, I want to thank uh, uh, Ray Solinsky for joining us again tonight. Um, and uh, of course, uh, Denny Dupps, Steve Overberg, Gino Carducci, and uh, the incredible staff that, uh, that they have here at IHTN. Uh, I'm Tony Harris again with Ray Solinsky. Thanks again for joining us. Good night and good basketball. Exclusive coverage of tonight's game on the Indian Hill Television Network has been a copyrighted presentation of the Indian Hill High School Video Department.